Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston with Our Blooming Catholic Life and thanks for joining me for this silly little organizing home tips video. It's a bunch of shots put together. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget if you've got any great ideas, put them in the comments below. God friends, bless. Here is what I recently learned about freezers. We had an incident. Some water got in where the thermostat was. Not pretty. We had to replace the thermostat and a couple other parts. We were able to save the freezer, but the freezer repair guy also found out that I was using plastic bins to store my food and I got a lecture and some nice tips. These wire baskets, coated wire baskets, are better for storing food. Air can get through on all sides, all places. It's still the handle. So you can see this is my chicken sausage up here, chicken feta spinach sausage in the back, chicken breakfast sausage in the front. I still have yet to get the labels I want. Over here is my ground hamburger. Here is my miscellaneous beef sausages. Um, and then over here we have the spicy chicken sausages, Korean barbecue in the front, chorizo in the back. Down here, I haven't figured out exactly yet how I want to use this rack, but if I get anything in boxes or bags, it can be stored here. Again, you're still going to get that great air circulation because the sides are open. My bread loaves, see, nice spacing between them. Down here, this is my lamb basket and then bigger pieces of beef. I may still get some baskets or move things around to put down there, as well as I now have all this clear for canned goods, all my freezer jams. You can see all these things have room for air to get around. So friends, whether you have a freezer that's at the bottom of your fridge or on top of it or a chest freezer, those wire baskets are the way to go. You do need to do some research. They need to be coated. They should not be regular wire, but there's directions that came with mine. Maintenance tips. How did I never learn this stuff? It's crazy. Sorry. <laughs> crazy the stuff I have not learned. So it says routinely use a dry cotton cloth to wipe off any dust watermarks on the basket, as well as monthly use a wet cloth with detergent to clean the scale, dust, watermarks, and oil, then dry the water with a dry cotton cloth immediately. Important notes, please do not soak the product in water. Avoid contacting or cleansing with strong acids and strong bases. Avoid being scraped by sharp objects. So how are those baskets going to make my life easier? A couple of ways. One, you can see how I hyper sorted everything and then put it on its side. That's not a defrosting freezer down there, so I can put things on their side. They're not gonna, you know, defrost and make a little lump on the bottom. So I can put them on their side so I can clearly read the labels. I can sort them. Oldest things in the front, newest things can go in the back, so I'm always getting the freshest products, you know, using up the oldest stuff first. So that's a huge benefit. Hyper sorted means I can quickly take inventory of what I have. I know what I have. I know what I need. Awesome. What else? When I need to clean the baskets or clean the freezers. Okay, so say I need to clean the baskets. Order a few more. That came in a set of six. I'm going to be getting another set because I need them for the upstairs freezer that's on top of the fridge, but only four baskets are going to fit there. So the other two baskets I can use for cleaning rotation. So if I need to go clean the baskets... I can quickly con just, you know, dump things, take them upside down, dump them into the new basket or take the time to move them piece by piece, put that basket in the freezer, do a second one, then go clean the other ones. And then I can put them back and again, switch until they're all rotated through and clean. Say I need to defrost the freezer. Again, things are already organized in baskets. I can take all the baskets out, quickly put them in coolers, whatever I need to do to defrost the freezer quickly when I need to do it. I'm just saying it's going to be a much easier system. And when you go to cook, everything's going to be where it belongs. I'm not the best at systems. I've come up with my own like wacky ideas throughout the years and they don't work. I still don't have a great system for the living room or rec room, but I do want to show you another system that has been working out well. I've been watching a lot of organizing and cleaning videos mainly clutter bug videos. Now friends, you're probably gonna laugh. This simple plastic bin right here, um, <laughs> ignore all these bags and things. I went through my closets now recently. I have like four more bags here for donation. And when I did all that, I emptied up with this empty plastic bin and it was sitting here empty. And I realized, you know, I have pajamas, I have sweatshirts, I have night socks and a hat. Now I wear these things almost every day, right? 
And a lot of times I'll just be wearing the sweatshirt for doing one chore or because I got cold for a brief period of time. So I may have only worn it one or two hours of the day. I don't want to throw it in the wash yet. Well, at night, instead of throw, stacking my things on a chair or on the floor or wherever, I started to use this bin. This is stuff that I'm going to maybe wear again throughout the week. Maybe, maybe not. Um, my hat I'll probably wear again, but it needs to be somewhere where I can find it and grab it. Sleep socks. I may go through several pairs of these in the week, but <laughs> you're going to laugh. In the middle of the night, instead of taking my socks off and throwing them next to the bed, I've been balling them up and chucking them in here. I do a bank shot off of here and they land in here. And then when I go to do the laundry, those socks are right here. And as well, when I go to do the laundry on Monday, I basically have been picking up this bin and I take it downstairs because most of it's dirty by the end of the week. If it's not, it gets washed anyway. The one caveat I will give you is if I end up wearing my prayer sweater and then I wear a sweater to church and I wear another sweater at some other time, sweaters may not be a need to be washed all the time, as well as consider whether those sweaters can all go in the dryer. If they all need to lay flat to dry or hang to dry, Consider that ahead of time, you may not want to wash them all in one day. That can end up in chaos in the laundry room. But this bin, I want to get something that looks nicer, but this bin was empty and the system has worked. It's worked for a couple of weeks. I'm excited. I found a system that worked. What? Um, so now I can get a nice basket for in there. Here is my next organizing tip. It looks like an ordinary empty paper bag. Now this is sitting in front of the freezer in the basement right now because I recently emptied it out in my outdoor compost bin. You know, I use a sub pod, sub pod compost bin. And what I found is whenever I get cardboard boxes, either from the grocery store, you know, just packing material or a package that comes, um, I was stacking them outside to be broken down later and to chucked into like four inch square pieces roughly. And I put that off or paper recycling I'm gonna take off can quickly fill up my compost bin. But what I found is having one simple paper bag in the dining room um, allows me just at leisure, like while food is cooking or I'm waiting for water to boil, something like that, I can stand there and break down the cardboard. The bag fills up, I take it outside to the compost bin. Like, it's ridiculous how easy that system is. And yet, like, it took me a year to come up with it. So friends, let's be real. I'm not saying I have it all together. I'm saying, hey, I have some of my clothing stacking <laughs> habits broken and it's a system that works and it's not a system that anybody ever told me but goodness that system works especially because I have to clean it out once a week I have a laundry day I just go and grab that bin and go through it and it's great it really it really is great if it's a sweatshirt I've only worn like two hours put it back away in the closet if it's something that I know I've worn a couple of times go ahead and wash it. Those night socks always need to go. But again, they're not stacking up next to the bed. There's not stacks and stacks of silly little cardboard boxes everywhere or paper that wants to be broken down. Instead, I'm doing it more immediately. And again, I'm taking it outside at least once a week. Pick a day to deal with it. Those bins are going to be added to my first of the month tour going through the bins. Um, those freezer bins are just I love them so much better than even the plastic bins I had. They just really are better. And I can see where the freezer is going to work better. I, I mean, once he showed me those, I can see them. Now, how are you going to find those particular bins? If you go on any of the major things and look, literally look for freezer bins or freezer baskets, that's what they're called, you're going to find them no problem. Um, I couldn't find any that were made in America. If you know some, let me know. I had to go with a non-American company for that. So I was a little sad, but um, so just try it, come up, keep trying new systems. If the system doesn't work, that's okay. Keep trying to come up with a new system. Um, and hey, if you've found any great systems or you have great knowledge, like the freezer basket thing, um, please share. Obviously I didn't learn those things as a kid. So any help you can give, I can't be the only one. If you've got a great system, share it in the comments below and we'll all learn together and we'll figure this out. Um, yeah, cause I got to get this act together. <laughs> okay, friends, God bless you. I really do hope you have a blessed day and may God bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the good Lord bless you in the name of the father and the son and the Holy spirit. Amen.